Hey buddy, real quick before we get this video started off, I want to go ahead and do a shout out for Tool in Hand. If there's one person out there that I know that has an unwieldy amount of Stanley Tool Kits, it's him, so link up here and down below as well. And then also, don't forget to go check out Squiggly Munchkin Mechanic. Uh, mechanic over on the Instagram side just started off her YouTube channel, so link up here as well as down below, and then don't forget to check out all the other channels listed down below, like Ellie's Garage, Scott Seidel, Jaspel, and then I'll put a whole bunch down there for y'all to check out. So, anyways, on to the video. Hey everybody, Brandon with Bearded CB82, and you read the title right. Today, we're going to be looking at toolkits. And why? Well... And hopefully as some of the people starting out, they've got different ideas on what they want at tool kits or for at home, the DIYer, things of that nature. Not everybody needs to go and buy focus. Come on. Snap on. There, it finally went. So on that note, we're going to go ahead. Um, I've got some things loaded up on the tailgate here. We're going to look and kind of do some small discussions on just some of the toolkits to give people an idea. And hopefully, you know, they'll go ahead and do video responses as well, showing off their toolkits. Uh, see what we can get going. I know everybody's got something different, so it'll be cool to see what all of y'all are working with. Okay, 33-piece set Stanley. I've had this since October of 2000. Yep, that's 2000. Uh, how do I remember it was October? Because uh came home on leave from where I was stationed at California. Me, my uh, dad, and my brother, uh, well, I went... Bought my sister's car through the bank. Q air compressor. And, uh, well, we went ahead and we set off on a road trip, all three of us. And uh, when uh, went down, had to uh, change out a couple tires on it, took it to Walmart. My dad bought this for me as kind of something to keep in the car with me. And it is a basic set, uh, made in Taiwan, Stanley. And, uh, yeah, one of the uh, spark plug sockets is, well, it's not missing. I know right where it's at, but that's at home, uh, the 5 8 But this little kit, it's, it worked. Um, it does cover most of your sizes. And for a DIYer or something where it's better to have something than uh, nothing at all, uh, this little kit right here will do on a base level uh, one of the things about a lot of kits that you come across like that oh yeah the 13 everybody loses the 10s i lose the 13 don't ask uh, this kit's sentimental to me but nonetheless it is the 12 points and uh probably the first go around i had of rounding something off or not being able to have the right socket was because of a 12 point but that was on a battery stud. Uh, luckily, a uh, guy, uh, me back then, I was not a mechanic at that point in time, uh, other than farm raised, of course. Uh, you know, just trying to make do with this set. Uh, he was a mechanic and he had a better set and he was able to uh, help me out because uh, I didn't have any wrenches. He had a Craftsman three tier ordeal. But. For home, in the trunk, in the truck, um, things like this, it's enough to get you out of a jam. Oh, the extension, I've got that at home, so I know right where that baby's at. I'm not going to... But yes, uh, those two are at home. The 13 millimeter got lost to the tool. Gods fell off into the abyss, never to be seen again. So small little kits like this that you can get at Walmart or any place else. They're enough to get you out of a jam. So I really don't knock them as long as somebody's got something and they know how to use it. Ugh. Next up, uh, uh, some of you guys have uh, seen this gear wrench set before. Let me reposition you here. Okay, I've had this gear wrench kit 
for quite some time. This is kind of my, uh, if I am know I'm headed somewhere, I will throw this into whichever vehicle that I am in. Uh, part of the reason, as you can see, uh, just on the socket side right here, it is pretty impressive. Uh, it does have six points, but it also has a lot of 12 points. But it also has six points again, uh, three eighths and quarter inch drive. And quarter inch drives are all six points, but all the half and three eighths drives, there again, um, relatively complete in sizing, are 12 point. Um, same with the other sockets, uh, with the exception of a few of the three eighths drive deep wells. Those are uh, six point. Uh, this is all Taiwanese gear wrench. This is not the Chinese gear wrench. And this definitely has gotten me out of a jam a few times. Uh, the wrenches oops, are the um, semi grip in there. But it just comes with five wrenches, a 7 16 half inch, 9 16 18, and a 19 millimeter. You know, good enough to get you out of most jams. Spark plug sockets, uh, standard and metric, standard. And then again, um, standard down here on your deeps as well for your half inch drive. They are the 12 point. Comes with a half inch ratchet, the quarter inch ratchet. Uh, that one needs to get lubed up a little bit again. And the 3 8 And then uh, it does have a uh, kind of a Wobble Plus style half inch extension. Um, actually does work pretty decent. Uh, this is what I'd call more along your lines of your middle of the road intermediate kits. Has all your Torx bits quarter inch driver that's a fairly decent driver extensions uh, it this will run the gamut and be able to do quite a bit of stuff that your smaller kits won't do but kit like this uh, at the time it was around 200 some when I bought this and uh, that was with a heck of a discount that the guy uh, my fast and all dealer was able to give me on this guy Kits like this, uh, it doesn't matter what brand it is. If you've got something along similar lines to keep in your trunk or truck or get you out of a jam or even at a, as an at-home uh, hobby or kit, a kit like this works wonders. A starter kit, if you want the sockets, this will get you a, a fair amount of your chrome sockets, especially on the quarter-inch side. Uh, that'll definitely uh, fare you decent enough okay so blue point um, a lot of you guys like I keep on saying the blue cart this is where this kit came out of and these kits in general are not cheap but how I bought it as a kit uh, it brought this down considerably in price and yes everything's either at home or in the toolbox so I still use this to this day has a nice foam pad to keep all your sockets down hard uh, and they've got different versions of these uh, definitely a very well encompassed uh, quarter and three eighths drive set and then again on your top as well you'd have plenty more you'd have all your extensions your quarter inch and your three eighths ratchets uh, more of your torx bits uh, extenders some couplers or your swivel uh, everything that was in here uh, well, you know, it's guaranteed by Snap-on. You can buy the Williams versions of these kits uh, on Amazon and a number of other online retailers. That'll bring the price down a little bit. They've got sets in here where it's the sockets and the ratchets, as you can see what all this had. And uh, then it'll have wrenches on the backsplash on this one instead. But... This is nice, the fact that it has this, so you know what everything's supposed to be. And it does keep them locked into place, so if you have this 
You don't have to worry about your uh, sockets getting jumbled and mixed around or like the gear wrench one occasionally might do. Um, I think the kit is pretty fair. Uh, buying this particular kit off the Snap-on truck, however, on its own, uh, kind of cost prohibitive. But if you come across something like this, it's pretty complete either as a trade-in deal or as a uh, uh, at a pawn shop or something like that. Uh, these Blue Point kits, they'll run you. If you're able to get a good deal on them, get them because they come in handy. Ugh. Now, hearkening back to the days of... Oh, where is that? Oh, it's in here somewhere. Ah. Yes. So, this is uh, <laughs> one of my tool bags. Uh, in particularly, uh, pretty heavy on a number of things. But a lot of the stuff that you're going to find in here, with the exception of uh, this Williams ratchet, uh, this Williams ratchet, the gear wrench ratchet well mostly came from one of those three tier uh craftsman kits you know it had the three red drawers in the big blow molded case the top folded up where it had you know some of your sockets and extensions and stuff like or your wrenches were in the however they had it handled um you can find those kits i don't know how well the uh new ones do or don't hold up uh, there's kind of a stigma about them, but if somebody's starting off and that's what they want to start off with, especially for the DIY guys that want a fairly comprehensive kit, those kits, if you get a good deal on those, uh, I, hey, I still use these and I still got some of the Craftsman sockets I still use every day. You'll have that. Bags like this, there's uh, plenty of options out there. This is just how I keep this one organized. Uh, oh, yeah. Gear wrench, 11 16 ratcheting wrench. Uh, all my wrenches and uh, <clears throat> most of my ratchets, extensions and stuff. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, that's my old SK. And hey, I, there it is, my Stanley. So, old SK socket and Stanley <laughs> spark plug socket. Uh, good to have spares. Then, of course, inside... Uh, this is where I'll keep things like my uh, tool shop chrome vanadium impact sockets. These work good for home. It's a good socket. It's $10 a set. Uh, the other two, I got one on my uh, half inch impact at home. And then the other one, uh, I think that's on the wrench ra rail rack at home. I do have cobalt. Oh socket rails uh, looks like a couple of them came off in there you'll have that happen but these old cobalt socket rails for me have held up over the past decade uh 12 years now actually um there again the old craftsman usa laser engraved uh but most of those sockets that i do want to keep in here i keep in here you can load these things full, gloves, channel locks, pretty good sized hammers. You never know if you need a good hammer. Ugh, flat bar. Oh, there's the other. There's one of the sockets. Spare uh, snap-on, you know, 18-inch long, half-inch drive ratchet. I know, kind of expensive to have something laying around in there. And... Uh, my one inch uh, Craftsman and some more half inch sockets, three eight sockets, everything else. But nice thing about these is the amount of pockets and uh, the big one gets kind of messy, but all these other ones you're able to keep these fairly organized. Uh, my, all my channel lock screwdrivers, the one set of uh, Harbor Freight pliers that I haven't been able to break out of that, what was it, like a four-piece kit. This is the one that set that hasn't broken on me yet. I keep that around in case if I leave it somewhere, I'm not going to be crying, or if it falls off somewhere. Uh, but it's big enough that I can actually, if i got to pinch something, it'll pinch and hopefully not break. But just an option there. And then, uh, oh, yeah, uh, 
wire nuts is you don't know and uh, thought I used to keep a few scotch locks in there because uh, something's better than nothing to get me somewhere till I can get it fixed better but there's you've got that all right and then we come to a little bit better looking version of uh, the same bag and this is my electrical bag uh, is how I've set this one up like I said different types of maintenance requirements for different people you may or may not want to keep something separate so I've got my Klein screwdrivers in here um, yes these were my brothers uh, this was the bag that I gave my brother for his birthday one year I've got wire nuts varying types i love this style uh, they work really good extra butt connectors and a couple of eklund sets um, or allen were these allens eklunds yep allen got bought out by um apex tools and allen no longer makes um stuff but a uh, good set of work style gloves this is my uh, hence electrical. Electrical safety is kind of a nice thing to have. Something along this lines where hey, thousand volt for protection. And yeah, it's expensive, but um, these kits, uh, what type of price tag are you gonna put on your life type deal? Especially if I wind up having to do something here at work to rewire something, I've actually got the proper tool. And uh, my spare amp clamp 322 smaller blue point made in the USA hammer and uh, uh, tape measures vice grip vice grip uh, marking tape and a uh, 1987 uh, John Deere anniversary anvil uh, that was a uh, yeah one of those things i keep with me for sentimental reasons oops as i get stuff caught here and then of course uh more electrical uh, i've got kleins uh snap-ons um this is mine i keep his that's why they're probably a little rusty i've had this set for a long time I keep uh, his personal set in my toolbox at home. Uh, Klein's good strippers. These, because of the crimpers on them, are really good for insulated terminals. Uh, auto strippers. Uh, you guys get the point. More Klein and uh, more Weeha. So, put that there. Uh, you can organize these bags any number of different ways or uh, whatever toolkit's going to serve you how you need it to work. So there you have it, folks. Uh, pretty much just kind of a rundown. People can have a lot of different tools set up a lot of different ways, and personally, it's going to be what works for you. Uh, I've got a variety between what I have here at work, what I keep at home, and what I keep in my truck. Obviously, I can rotate things out if I need to, and... Uh, be covered for a number of bases, you know, and uh, then again, being a mechanic, it's a little bit more heavier for me to have a tool kit like some of those versus somebody that just might have one of those little bitty Stanley kits. Something is better than nothing, especially if you know how to use it. So on that note, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, feel free to go ahead, comment down below if you have a video of your own, uh, post the links down below as well, or if you want to do a video, Post the link down below as well. And uh, I'll try to pin uh, whichever one's newest. Uh, but hopefully you guys uh, go ahead, show us your kits. And then on that note, remember, shop safety is just as important as firearm safety. Uh, screw something up, somebody could die. And y'all have a great week. Mm -hmm.